with our first F450 Reserve Edition, that Rapid Red truck was just such a hit, leveled on 37s. We knew we had to come back with another one just like it, right? Nah, nah, nah. This one, this one, we're going up. Thanks so much for watching. In this video, we will cover the full build process, the reveal, and of course, all the in-depth info that you need to know about our F-450 Reserve. Highly anticipated second ever edition here at Wild Willys at Aikens Ford in Winder, Georgia. Our reserve edition, it's already a beautiful truck. That iconic silver in the platinum package. All the convenience features you could ask for. But here behind me, this is something we're truly proud of. And we know our customer, which is coming today, it's Saturday morning, it's game day for us. So I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. Uh, we can't wait to show our customer this beautiful truck behind us. Today I want to go over all the technical specs and what we did to make this come the second ever uh, reserve edition and the truck of all trucks. The F450, as you know, uh, on, on the road, as, if you're towing or if you're using it for just pleasure, is the truck of all trucks. And that is it's the big bad boy that you just cannot top. It's the pinnacle of all trucks. Throw our reserve package on there and it really just truly elevates it. What we did with this one has taken it to that next level and I can't wait to show you guys. So obviously what's different between this one and our previous reserve is that suspension. So we did Kelderman air ride, the five to six inch uh, air ride lift. This is fully adjustable. It goes from ride height all the way up to 10 inches tall, uh, fully extended on the airbags. And we did a lot of custom paint work, Raptor shocks, um, external reservoirs to really truly set off the truck. Now, probably y'all, a lot of y'all are asking, uh, why is there red in here? So our, our client, Kevin and Tina Foreman, are huge, I mean, huge Tampa Bay Buccaneer fans. And they, got, they have, have a pretty good season coming up this year too. So we uh, wanted to tie in Tampa Bay red. So this is actual Tampa Bay red and check out that logo right there. So we, uh, Austin at High on Lumens, did all of our paint work on this build. It's a really small world, Austin, uh, has done work for uh, some some friends that, that know Kevin and Tina down in the Jacksonville area. So small world, everything comes back together and, and Austin High and Lumens killed it with this build. Exclusively uh, all the way throughout, but this headlight, I mean, show this headlight one more time. So basically this was all chrome inlay recessed in the back. We painted that iconic silver, added a nice red touch to the paint there. 
a nice Tampa Bay logo. And this is typically a yellow uh, turn signal marker. We did it black with the, the Buc Buccaneers logo. Really, truly a game changer. Up front, this is all chrome on the platinum truck. We did this iconic silver and you got paint code Tampa Bay Buccaneers red with gloss black and iconic silver on the front emblem. And it really just makes it a one, one of a kind truck in that most of the ones you see uh, out on the road that have some custom paint work is typically just gloss black uh, and the chrome, uh, no special color in there. So this red, I really do like this. Whether you're a, a Buccaneers fan or not, this is just a cool, uh, cool paint scheme to, to roll with. So I really do like this. Got to have the Aikens tag up front. Uh, coming on around, we the mirrors, there, there's a lot of textured components, even on a platinum. So we really like to remove that. So this whole assembly here on your headlight, this was a textured black rough finish. We wanted that to go bye-bye. So we did this iconic silver and that really just makes it look even more luxur luxurious. We did uh, gloss black on the uh, upper mirror cap and even in the turn signal marker, showing this Jesse. We did black and even, even forward Tampa Bay red uh, inside there. Uh, on the side badge, this as well is typically chrome. We did that body color, got the Tampa Bay red in the platinum. That's also typically black in the chrome bezel. Did that body color and check this. This is, I love this too. The 6.7 power stroke diesel, Tampa Bay red and black, truly just sets it off. We did not want to do too much red. If we did too much red, it would get, it would get too overdone and just, just not what we were looking for. We wanted to keep it classy, but also just let you know that he's all about those bucks. So it being early in the morning, I hope you still can see the rock lights. We have the brightest and most rock lights I've seen on a vehicle. And at nighttime, it's truly gonna light the road up. Uh, that's gonna be a great feature to really show off this, this custom lift. I've been teasing y'all about the lift. I'm coming back to the lift, I promise you. I wanna go over the appearance stuff first. So coming on around, Jesse, you see on the clearance clearance lights up top, typically they are, come over here, yeah, so typically they're uh, not, not in that fashion. We custom painted those with a little nice trim piece to where they don't look, uh, they look more premium, more slim and sleek. Uh, another good example on your side marker here, you can see it a little bit better. We use recon lights and the custom paint work with a nice little uh, trim border uh, paint job really just makes it um, still very functional, but just look a lot cleaner. Around back, uh, we didn't want to smoke the headlights or do anything that was going to put him in, in trouble potentially on the road as far as legality standpoint, but a nice trim body color paint around this headlight uh, just makes it look even more elegant. So I hope you guys can see that iconic silver trim piece around the, around the bezel. Really looks nice. Now this is a tailgate applique, which is typically like that brushed aluminum look. Body color, obviously. Uh, black in the platinum, Tampa Bay red in the Super Duty. And we had to match the, the emblem on the rear to match the front. Very classy. So just stepping back and looking at that tailgate. Um, also this top part here is textured black, or was textured black. And uh, I wish they wouldn't do that, but I'm glad they don't because we get to make stuff unique and more custom. So body color, this as well. Uh, just because if you didn't do that component, it just wouldn't flow. It wouldn't look right. Um, so that really just cleans up the whole tailgate and just makes it, makes it be what it should be. So first of all, I want Jesse to back up a little bit and just let's get a look at this stance because the stance on the back of this truck uh, is just so incredible. Just how wide we are with those 37 inch tires. Just so mean, so muscular. Also, can you see down below We've got a horn blaster train horn. I can guarantee you guys, this is the loudest train horn you've ever heard. The audio won't do it justice today. Third brake light up top. We did custom paint work on that as well, just to make it look more luxurious and, and sleek. Also, we've got to do a nice bed cover. So we've got a Pace Edwards uh, Jackrabbit full metal jacket and it's fully powered. One touch. So whenever they're going to the Bucks games, they're going uh, traveling, they've got nice, secure, dry, lockable storage, which is just a great addition there. Got to have an Aiken spray and bed liner. They've got the prep groups so if they're going to use the, the gooseneck or fifth wheel. They've got great capability there also. Uh, bed and the wiring. Aiken spray and bed liner to truly give them some protection in their bed. Okay, all right. Let's, let's quit teasing them, Jesse. Let's tell them uh, about the... 
the obvious and most, most impressive part, wheel and tire combo and our suspension lift. So we've got 24 inch American Force, Pulse wheels, black and milled, just like on our Rapid Red. We had to go with that wheel again just because we feel like it just truly looks the best. So a good look at the front. The milling really just accentuates the iconic silver with the black thing we've got. Uh, 24 inches is the way to go because it really just makes that wheel look uh, more mature. And we've get, got 37, 13 and a half, 24 inch Nitto Ridge Grappler tire. That hybrid tire is gonna ride nice and smooth, not be too, too loud, give you good mileage overall. Uh, just a killer aggressive look, but great road, road quality overall. So re really like this combo. Our Kelderman lift. So Kelderman out of Iowa have been great to deal with as far as a customer service standpoint. Uh, their products definitely are legit. And this is, as they advertise, the best riding suspension lift for F450 on the market today. So I'm proud to say that we uh, have a Kelderman lift up under our second ever reserve edition, a truly fitting lift kit to go with this truck. Uh, and I know our customers are really gonna love it. So it's a fully adjustable right now, it's at ride height. So it's right at five inches tall right now. So it's adjustable from uh, leveled stance all the way up to 10 inches. So uh, if you wanna stunt in the parking lot uh, or just look nice and low for easy entry and exit, you've got full adjustability with the airlift system. We also did Tampa Bay Red Iconics uh, custom paint work on some of our components. See our, our radius arm in the rear, we painted that uh, Tampa Bay red as well. We've got the Kelderman kit components up front. They use Raptor shocks. We've got Raptor dual steering stabilizers up front. And we put some miles on this vehicle and it rides really good. We're highly impressed with overall ride quality and stability. Now on our previous F450 and on all the F450s and Super Duties, one thing to me that's just kind of uh, tacky and needs to go is this front lower valence. We know it's functionality, so we actually kept it, but we cut it in half and painted it iconic silver. So this is a textured uh, black component that needed some work. So really dressed the front end up by painting and cutting our lower valence in half uh, on, our, on our reserve. I wanna show them some more of the lift components. We painted uh, Tampa Bay red back in the back, our four link system, and see if you can give them a good look at our Raptor shocks and airbag system. And you can see uh, there's four, four compressor, uh, four air tanks in the back that uh, are the functionality standpoint of this kit. <laughs> those, those rock lights are so bright. Uh, that's, that's what he's gonna love that. Now, I've already scared Jesse this morning with the air horn. We scared people last yesterday with it. We got Tony, our, our sales manager, we got him to come back and look and hit it. So that's gonna be a, a fun thing to, to mess with people. And just a truck this big needs an air horn like that. It's, it's adequate um, and the way it should be. Now on the inside, this is something that our customers do not know about. We wanted to do something else that was uh, fitting for the inside. We've not done anything inside wise. So kind of dove into a little custom paint work and interior quality. So we've got, uh, Iconic Silver and Tampa Bay Red Platinum on your door sill plate. We did a Super Duty Tampa Bay Red and your vent adjustments, same thing. That second little small glove box as well with a Super Duty embossed. Show them inside the cup holder. Jesse, we got Tampa Bay custom cup holders and that lights up red as well. The Ford system used to have the My Color where you could change the colors. They don't anymore, it's only blue. So we wanted to be, be red. So we've got a red uh, color scheme on the inside to match the overall scheme of uh, that kit. Now I wanna show you guys now uh, the adjustability and capability of our air ride suspension kit going from ride height all the way up to big boy 10 inches uh, and down to a level step. Caleb's our master technician, gonna take us through. We're at all the way down. He's gonna take us through each, each sequence. This is ride height. Now we're going up big boy six inches. Standing tall, looking mean, just a bad boy. 
Okay, it's eight o'clock in the morning, probably we're about an hour away from Kevin and Tina arriving. They have not seen this truck yet. We've showed them a few pictures in the beginning stages, but they have not seen it yet. So I'm excited to see their reaction. We're definitely gonna hopefully get that on camera as well. So let's take the truck and go get ready to show it to them. And it's finally the day. Finally the day. Been up since 1 a.m. Couldn't sleep. Couldn't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Came up from Jacksonville. Nice little six-hour ride. Yep. Left about three, three o'clock this about morning. Three o'clock. Yeah. All right, there she is. Coming down here. Let's say for you guys, is it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, not at all. What y'all think so far? That is awesome. tight. That is tight. Oh my god. <laughs> that is awesome. That is so oh, good. Yeah. oh my gosh. It looks so good. Oh, they love it, man. All your guys' reaction too, just not mine. I know, but I want to know what you think. I like it. Okay. Oh, yeah. So good. What do you think, man? I mean, that is good. He's like yeah. in shock. He's yeah. in shock. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. It's been so good. Yeah. Oh, my God. Look what Great job, Gail. Great you. job, buddy. You did a fantastic job. Yeah, you did very good, man. I appreciate it. Okay, so now you guys, I wanna show you some of the behind the scenes of our build process, what took place to put together such a beautiful truck. Let's go. I got Jake behind the camera, Tina and Kevin here. They saw our Rapid Red Reserve, our first edition on YouTube, right? Yep. YouTube. Yep. Yep. That's kind of how this uh, relationship started. Uh, they, they've been great to work with. They drove up from Jacksonville today, finalized the deal on their beautiful Iconic Silver F450 Platinum. Now, for the average Joe, they are okay with, with this the way it is, but uh, they have the same thoughts that I do. I want to make it something truly unique and special. And this one's going to be a game changer. So uh, we want to talk about just what we're going to do, sure. guys. Um, so we're going to start off doing a lot of custom paint work. We're going to do a lot of iconic silver throughout the grill up front. We're doing a special uh, headlight job with some uh, Tampa Bay red accents in there. Uh, I'm not going to share all of our secrets so <laughs> yet, um, but we're going to do some Tampa Bay Red throughout the whole vehicle. Uh, emblem also, we're going to change that lower valence and body color it. We're going to do our uh, mirrors, body color with a black cap. There'll be some Tampa Bay Red in this side badging also. Now, of course, we're not going to leave these pesky 19 and a halfs on here. We're doing Amer American Force Pulse in 24. You got to go, you got to go 24. We're, we're, we're throwing the same thoughts. 24 uh, is the way to go. Um, Kelderman, we got a little bit of slack from people about just a ready, a ready lift level kit. There's nothing wrong with a ready lift level kit, but we're going Kelderman, okay? So we're gonna we're gonna shut the game down with this suspension. It's gonna ride amazing, and it's gonna be one that y'all will thank me for and be happy for. Finally, um, come on around this way, Jay. We're gonna body color. The door handles also. Um, we don't like this FX4 sticker. We're gonna take it off. We have some rock lights underneath. We're doing with our nice premium Pace Edwards uh, power, bed, power bed cover, Aiken spray in liner. And then on the rear, um, 
you know, this is a nice look with the uh, breast aluminum out back, but we want to make it more custom. So this is going to be body color also. And then we're going to have black on the lettering and Tampa Bay red with the Super Duty. Um, what do you think about Tom Brady coming? I love it. Ready? You, re you ready? Yep. He's pulling, pulling in all of the people too. Old people Jake behind the camera is a football guy, so we could we'll probably talk a lot of football over the over the next. <laughs> okay. Coming up. Hopefully, hopefully we can get back. Hopefully we can get back to it, right? Um, but we're going to have a, a you know the, the suspension is going to be a very fitting suspension. It's going to be one that will improve their overall ride. You know it'll tow better for them too. Uh, and then all of our custom paint work, wheel and tire. Uh, it's going to be tr a truly special vehicle. So we'll keep you guys in tune with the build process and of course the delivery um, it's gonna be a truly special build so y'all stay tuned and thanks so much So this is the first time I've seen the total, I've seen bits and pieces, but this is the first time I've actually seen the final uh, paint work my man Austin at High and Lumens did. And oh my gosh, coming down the hill, look at this. What? Unreal. I know they're gonna love this one. Look at this. Killer, killer, killer. Caleb taking it up top to get ready to install the Kelderman wheels and tires and more. Can't wait. Here's some before shots of F450 Platinum. You notice on the door handles over there, it's that kind of ugly textured gray um, throughout. Obviously you see uh, the brush components with Super Duty there, textured. What I'm talking about here is just a rough, kind of looks cheap here. So we're doing, we'll do some custom work on the inside. Customer not, he didn't know about that yet. We're doing a special little Buccaneers deal in the center console there too. Can't wait to show you guys how this is gonna look. There again, he, they do not know that we're doing anything to the inside, so I had to make something uh, a little unique and special to them. So uh, let's check out the after shots of how the interior looks once it's complete. Also, this panel here, just brushed with the silver, gonna make this really special and, and really uh, Tampa Bay-like. Gonna be great. Really do love how that subtle pieces of red on the inside really ties the whole truck together. process begins pulling the bed off Caleb got it detached ready to roll truck shop here at Aikens is generous enough to let us store it up here safe and dry
are now finally on the ground with the lift installed. Got the factory wheels and tires still just to make sure and test everything's good to go height wise. Get that airbag. That red's where they're gonna pop when the bed gets on there. Just look at your airbag in the rear. Coming together. Sucker's up there, isn't it? Kevin and Tina truly love their truck. Just a great experience. So happy for them. Airing it back up to ride height now. So they can head back to Florida. So how this truck uh, came to be born is Kevin and Tina, our great clients, they saw our Rapid Red Reserve online on YouTube, where you're hopefully watching this now, and reached out to us. And you know, throughout the build process, you get to know your clients uh, on a different level. And Kevin and Tina are truly just great people, and I'm so proud they are they are so deserving of this truck. Um, and we, we hope this one brings us more business as well, obviously, but this is to us, this is the nicest truck we've ever de definitely done. Uh, we feel like it's one of the nicest F-450s out there. So we're proud of this truck and uh, hope you guys like it as well. Truly, you can see what some custom work will do. Caleb Kicklider is the one that did our most all of our custom work on this truck as far as the lift and the wheels and tires. And um, he's, he's a phenomenal installer, but he definitely was tested on this truck. Uh, this is a, uh, a expert skill level install required to do something like this um, so we appreciate all the work that caleb did but it's not just caleb everyone at the shop uh, was involved you know it took about maybe five hours to mount the wheels and tires so everybody here at akins and y willies uh, put some effort into helping this truck come come to life our body shop stored the bed for us uh, our sales department uh, it just helped make, make the make the process come come true and, and selling them the truck so that the F450 in itself is a phenomenal truck, 475 horsepower and 1,050 pound-feet of torque. So it's a it's a phenomenal truck with that 10-speed transmission. The Platinum has so much capability uh, and convenience features that just make it a a luxurious 
uh, truck that can handle all of your needs, whether you're working or playing. So I really like and want to tell you guys that, you know, Aikens is a top 10 dealership nationally when it comes to Ford vehicles and Wild Willys, we're just a small part of it, but we're feel like that we're strong in the game as, break, as far as being a leader in the accessory department, uh, making custom builds. We, we love what we do from a standpoint of our everyday bed liners, bed covers, window tent, uh, TVs, lift kit components. So we love doing that, but we also love doing truly custom signature vehicles and we hope that and know that line will continue to grow so look at look us up Aikens Ford in Winder Georgia for all your vehicle needs when it comes to customizations buying your next vehicle whether it be a SUV truck whatever your vehicle needs may be we can take care of you uh, we're closer than closer and bigger than you think show them the dealership just Jesse one time this is just a, a small portion of the dealership and just what a impressive uh, dealership it is one that's truly ran with a great uh, and proper values in place to where you're going to get great service on a consistent basis and that makes all the difference in the world and obviously great great vehicles as well